Hi guys, this is John with Tackle That, and today we're gonna to be reviewing this 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Greener Power. It's the mini size, so I really like how compact they are. We also have one of their 20 amp hour chargers, so we're gonna put that through the paces, and then we're gonna connect it all up to this 12 volt cigarette adapter and USB adapter with a switch and a voltage meter, and even a fuse, and we're gonna turn it into a power station. I also got this pocket knife today at Ace Hardware and I wanna use it, so let's tackle that. All right, first let's get this out of the package. All right, there we go. Nice Swiss Army knife, 13 function. So, let's open her up. We've got a Greener power flyer, some specs, 12 volt, 100 amp hour, recommended charge current, 20 amps, discharge current, 100 amps. We got some terminal bolts, nice looking. Cool, it's got some terminal bolts in there now, comes with two extra. Nice compact design, built-in handle, very nice. So let's charge her up and we'll do a capacity test. Let's see if we can find a spot for this new knife. I don't know, maybe next to my old Boy Scout knife. Yeah, that'll work. For charging it up, we're gonna use this 20 amp hour Greener Power battery charger. Now this is completely automatic it has one LED making it simple. Um, and all we do is connect her up. Now that's gonna give it constant current, constant voltage at 14.6 volts, I believe. This LED will just stay red until the battery is drawing less than two amps, which basically means it's fully charged and then it'll, it'll turn green. Um, one of the things I love about this is, yeah, it's big, but it has no fan and it's completely silent. So let's give that a good charge while we wait. We'll take a look at this USB and 12 volt cigarette adapter. That's going to just basically bolt right to the terminal. It's got an inline fuse and it's got uh, two regular USB, one QC 3.0 and also a 30 watt USB-C. And I think this has a voltage meter and a switch. So this whole unit is gonna turn this battery into a power station without any extra parts. We got the infamous green light. So let's check the voltage and see what we got. Fourteen point four two volts, so she's definitely topped off. Now we will do a discharge test, and we'll see how many watt hours or amp hours we can pull out of this battery. All right, we've got our handy dandy capacity tester all zeroed out, ready to go. Let's plug it in and start the test. So. We got a 14.4 voltage, everything cleared out. This can only pull 185 watts, which is gonna be a little bit less than a 0.2 C test, which is ideal, but it'll actually give the battery a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. So we'll make do. So we can already see the voltage coming down a little bit. So that'll be the test. I think, uh, We'll sleep on it, and when we come back in the morning, we'll see what this capacity is. Stay tuned. All right, the test is coming to a close here. We're just getting under 10 volts. They recommend not going much below that. Um, the BMS actually will have a 9.2 volt cutoff, uh, but check this out, 106.5 amp hour. So that's actually the highest testing battery that I've done so far. Uh, this is a 100 amp hour battery 
And since these are high quality cells, you'll actually get more capacity out of it the first maybe 10 cycles. Uh, and then the technology just will slowly diminish over time. Uh, but you can charge these thousands of cycles and still maintain uh, most of its uh, potential. So awesome, awesome. This is a really high quality battery. Next thing we'll do is we'll charge this bad boy back up and then we'll plug up some accessories and turn this into a power station. Okay, we're coming back. We are now fully charged. It is the morning and it's a little crisp out here. We're coming in at 58 degrees in the garage here in Florida. That's cold for us Floridians, but uh, I know the rest of the world is having some serious snowstorms. All right, now I think it's time to turn this guy into a power station. So this already has some double stick tape uh, and the fuse and the connections we want. I'm not sure I want to keep this much wire up here. So I might cut this down and then I'll have another, uh, a lot of extra wire for a future project. But um, trying to figure out where to mount this that it would make sense. I kind of want to keep a connection like this because we can hook up a solar charger or our house charger to this and that's how we'll charge it back up. Maybe something like this. Doesn't give me much room to pull up on this. In my last build, we put the 600 watt AC inverter on the side. It's looking like we might want to do that with this as well. Yeah, I think so. Cause that really still keeps it nice and compact. Maybe on this side? No, cause we have these USB adapters. So. I think something like this might work. Yeah, I kind of like that. Then we still get our handles and we can carry this guy around. We can see our voltage. We can route our wires up there nice and easy. So let's do that. I don't know. Alright, looks like high quality double stick 3M tape. Line that up just like that. Cool. Now this actually has a little release here, so we could take that off. Let's make sure that's stuck in there nicely. And we just put it back on like that. Cool. And we'll route these wires around here. Cut this down. Put new terminals on there. Keep this thing nice and compact. Some people might get a little scared cutting this much wire off. Don't be scared. Look how high quality this, uh, this wire is. This is nice. Very nice stuff. Thick wires. One, two, very nice. Oh no, it's too short. Just kidding. It's going to be fine. Perfect. All right, still can use the handle. Probably put a little double stick tape on that, that. <clears throat> Let's see if she works. What do you guys think? Oh yeah. Move that around a little bit. Cool. 
and our voltage meter says 14.5 volts. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's get a USB charger over here and see if we can charge things up and uh, see if any of these sockets work for our application as well. I like these dust covers, that's nice. You also can't stick your finger in there and get a little zapparoo. 12 volts is pretty safe. And again, if we want to take this thing off, move it somewhere else, you can detach it. So we've just turned this 100 amp hour greener power battery into a power station with minimal parts, nice and clean, ready to go. Now, all right, let me show you how I keep my stuff charged up around the house or on the go. First thing is this AA or AAA battery charger. Love this thing because it has a USB uh, adapter. So you can plug it into anything you got around the house and let's turn that guy on perfect and i just put my batteries in like this cool and that'll charge those guys up let's see looks like my 18650 is already charged up I can charge up my speaker. There we go. Awesome. Actually, that's the charge light. Cool. Love this thing. Nice and powerful. We also got connections on the side. And that this is the high speed one. I can charge my phone up. Or I also like to keep these battery banks chopped up or topped off. There we go. Perfect. And I have one more thing I'll show you guys in a minute outside. And I think you'll, you'll really like that. But overall, look, this 100 amp hour battery can keep all my smaller batteries charged up. I mean, when you have a battery pack this big, you're really, and you're charging stuff this small, you're really not going to have any issues for a long time. Again, when it needs a charge, we just take something like this or something like this, where you have a solar panel and an MPPT charge controller built in with, of course, an SAE connection. So, really variety of different ways to keep your power stations all topped off. Great here in Florida where we have power outages and storms all the time. Also, I will be bringing this on my next trip to keep my laptop charged, all my, my hotspot, my cell phone, and everything uh, so I don't lose any power. Here is that fuse. Let's take a little double stick tape and we'll keep that stuck down doesn't get tied up on anything. Oh, this double stick tape always gets me. There we go. Nice and even. Just like that. Awesome. Handles still work. What a nice build. Super compact, easy to do, only requires two parts, three if you want to get an SAE connection so you can keep her charged up. A lot of chargers just come with alligator clips that you can just charge your battery with so you don't even need those. Just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below how I could have made this any better. Uh, or different, or what you guys are doing with your 100 amp hour mini batteries. The size of these things are just awesome. You got tons of power. I was doing the calculations and one of these are up to three car batteries in capacity, depends on which one you're comparing it to, because you can use 100% of the capacity of these lithium iron phosphate batteries 
where lead acid and AGM, you're really not supposed to drain those down more than 50% at the most. So tons of capacity in these bad boys. The shelf life is a lot longer. The amount of times you can power cycle and recharge this is, I think, maybe 10 times more or even greater. Uh, I love this technology and I hope you guys try it out. So there you have it. It took one accessory to turn this 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery into a power station where we can keep all of our smaller electronics charged up. It had everything we need, the inputs, the outputs. It's got a voltmeter, it's got a switch, it's got a fuse, making it a very easy project for you. Now, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if this was helpful. Also comment, let me know what you're doing with your mini battery. See you next time.